we reacting to Jamari talking about the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight. You feel me? My personal opinion, I think it's dumb. Like it's like ugh. I get why Mike's doing it just for the bread, bro, and I guess to be talked about. But like, let's be real, bro. Prime Mike is like mauling Jake Paul. Jake Paul is getting CTE for life. You feel me? Make sure y'all smash that like button, smash that sub button, turn on post notifications. We tell. are around a month and a half away from the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul boxing match. Just saying that sentence out loud is enough for me to believe that we are living within a simulation. Regardless, the announcement of this fight was met with a lot of criticism, mainly people saying that it would be rigged from the start, seeing that it was being promoted as an exhibition match that would not land on either fighter's record. Do you wish it was a sanctioned fight and not an exhibition like it's going to be? No, because I would feel really bad for Jake. Some people even predicted they would be wearing headgear, which would just be insanely lame. And of course, you have the crowd that feels like this is just Jake Paul beating up on yet another old retired fighter. But let's be <laughs> clear, while Tyson is far past his prime, this is not exactly Ben Askren stepping into the ring. Like, this guy is still a certified killer, I don't care what <laughs> I his say, age Mike is. is still a and if you would have in any form or fashion, they would have laughed you out the room. What do you think of his boxing ability? I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTubing. And I'm guessing the promotional <laughs> teams and the fighter camps have heard the words of the critics, and they've now made some amendments to this fight that has me thinking that no one is going to be taking a dive or going easy on the other fighter at all. Because with these Tyson amendments, there will be a lot more at stake. So here's the new rules for the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight. So it will now be an officially sanctioned professional fight. Oh, yeah. The result will go on their actual record. Knockouts will be permitted so there's not some type of no knockout clause. The fight will now consist of eight two minute rounds, which to me definitely favors Mike Tyson. You know, he's a little bit older. He likely lacks the stamina. A lot of the clips that we've seen of him are extremely short. So yes, the two minute rounds will definitely help Mike. Fighters will be wearing 14 ounce gloves. And last but not least, no headgear is going to, say, to be used. Be no so like I said previously, now there's going to be a lot more at stake. I mean, just knowing that this man is now going to be on Mike Tyson's official fight record, whether he wins or loses. The next time I see Kendra, I'm ripping her head off. Do it. She doesn't know who she's messing with. Hey, Lisa. Oh my God. Hey, Kendra. It's just absolute insanity. And listen. I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come, he's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Now, Mike Tyson has continued to post these training videos. On this one, he says, I can't wait for this to be Jake. <laughs> Nah, Mike is up on Jake. Like, let's be real, bro. Mike Tyson realistically should maul and kill Jake. Even being Mike at his old age should literally body bag Jake Paul, bro. It shouldn't even be close, bro. It looks like there's obviously still some power behind those punches, but like I said, it would be nice to see a longer actual sparring clip from Tyson because we really Why? don't know if all he has left is these short bursts. <laughs> I mean, I think even if he just plays it right and plays it kind of slow and really picks and chooses when to unleash on this man, Jake Paul, and can kind of keep that head moving, he should have no problem sleeping the former YouTuber. <laughs> You don't know that you got in store, baby. You gotta face the God of War. And get ready, baby. Fire in the house. Now I have to say, out of all the training footage that Mike has released, this has to be my favorite, where he's running some sort of straight line sprint. And the man sounds like a hungry Rottweiler being called for dinner. <laughs> Like, why is Mike running away like a bad toddler who's running away with something he shouldn't have in his hands? He would also tweet this out. Yes, it's a real sanctioned fight with Jake Paul. And then here's the new flyer for the event. Paul versus Tyson, sanctioned as a pro fight. Who wins? And I hear that the demand for the tickets for this event has been some of the craziest that we've ever seen at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, which has done some massive events in the past. So that's how you know people are hyped up to see what could very likely be Mike Tyson's last official pro fight. Like, does anything say social media era more than this? Like, we gotta give Jake credit just like we gave Logan credit when he fought Floyd Mayweather for them to be able to do that just off the pure strength of the amount of clout they have is pretty damn insane 
and we just got here through hard work, taking risks, and knocking people out, and that's what I'm going to keep on doing on July 20th. Mikey, Uncle Mike, I love you. You're looking amazing, but there can only be one winner, and I'm sorry, but I got to end you, brother. Now, even with all of that bro, fight no way Mike Tyson being shown, this, yes, Mike Tyson is looking very scary, but I believe this is the real reason that Jake Paul should be scared about this fight. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fucking student of war. I know all the warriors from, from Charlemagne, Achilles, the number one warrior of all warriors. I know the art of fight. I know the art of war. That's all I ever studied. That's why I'm so feared. That's why they feared me when I was in the ring. Because that's all my, I was an annihilator. That's all I was born for. And now those things are and I am nothing. I'm working on being the art of humbleness. Can you be me? That's the reason why I'm crying, because I'm not that person no more. And I miss it. Because sometimes I feel like a bitch. Because I don't want, I don't want that person to come out, because if he comes out, hell is coming with him. It really does seem like Mike Tyson has really had to work hard in his life to become a more reserved, less extreme person. But I have to say, I really hope the Beast comes out for this fight. <laughs> those chains around himself for probably the greater part of the last two decades and to see him come out and unleash that beast and unleash an absolute old man ass whooping on jake Paul <laughs> would have to be one of the greatest things we've ever seen and on the contrary if disney jake paul somehow sleeps mike tyson or even wins the fight by decision i mean i hate to say it but that changes mike's legacy forever yeah it does now say here's mike's more legacy. reason for jake <laughs> jake paul beats mike tyson bro his legacy is like bro that's like the greatest boxer of all time one of the greatest muhammad ali mike tyson those are the greatest you got floyd up there bro mike tyson you better handle this nigga just like freaking little floyd mayweather handled 200 pound logan paul you better handle him bro He's holding out on not only sex but also. Oh, he's holding out on box ahead too. of the Jake Paul fight. This is going to be like a pent up pit bull who hasn't got exercise in weeks. Okay, he's just been tearing up the house, being unleashed on a beagle. You actually said if, if I don't use it for a week or three days, you're a totally different person. And this is what you said about yourself you're not a likable person. Whoa. But I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight. And I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. And just a little oh, bonus yeah. clip to end the video that has been going viral, where Mike Tyson has to remove P. Diddy's hand from his thigh during this live TV interview back in the 90s. It oh, truly is about the Benjamin, as we see. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's, he's literally. It's Kelly is about the Benjamin. <laughs> Well, now when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Puffy. And if you want to hang out, more than welcome, stick around, my brother. Oh, All right. <laughs> more right after this. Did that he face that nigga new bro? Like, oh man, bro. If I try this nigga Mike again, I'ma die. Face of a man that has just been rejected in front of hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Obviously, Mike was not playing that type of shit. And I really <laughs> just think it's crazy that seemingly everyone within the industry knew what type of time Diddy was on. And now we just might get a chance to see it all come to light. Listen, guys, smash that like button, smash that sub button, turn on post notifications. Let us know down right now in the comments who y'all got, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Because I got Mike, bro. I heard Mike better kill Jake Paul. Like, I'm talking about, like, Jake Paul is, like, rethinks life type stuff. Like, Mike Tyson, there's no way you make this an easy fight. Like, just do Jake the favor and knock him out first round. You feel me? But it makes me out. I just see that banger right there, bro. That was a banger, bro. We did that for y'all, bro. And that's just a preview, bro. If y'all want part two, we need a thousand likes on this, bro. Like, we need y'all to really turn up, bro. Because, like, bro, we out here in the fields, bro. Get this for y'all, bro. It makes me nation to the top. It makes me be the gang. You feel me? Make sure y'all smash that like button. Smash that sub button. Turn on post notifications right now. And, bro, share this to everybody, bro.